Tonight, all of us here are among the very first in the world, the very first in the world, to view this groundbreaking exhibit of previously unseen works by one of our nation's greatest artists, Richard Diebenkorn. That deserves a round of applause. Come on. This is doubly exciting for those of us at College of Marin because not only do we have the remarkable good fortune of being selected as the venue for this exhibit, but in addition, the timing of the exhibit coincides with the official grand opening of College of Marin's new fine arts gallery. I can't think of a better way of showing off our outstanding new gallery. The alignment of stars didn't happen by accident, as there are many individuals to thank for helping us make this exhibit possible. First and foremost, we would like to thank the Richard Diebenkorn Foundation for selecting the College of Marin Fine Arts Gallery as a location for their very first exhibit, and also for, for providing a grant of funds to make the exhibit possible. And lastly, but certainly far from least, there is another person to whom we are all we all owe a debt of gratitude for helping to bring this exhibit to the College of Marin Fine Arts Gallery. It is my pleasure to introduce College of Marin Fine Arts professor, department chair, alum, and a well-known fine artist in his own right, the exhibitor's curator, Chester Arnold. We now have a more world-class facilities for world-class work, so uh, bring it on. <laughs> and we, we have it here tonight. So as you look at these works, I just wanted to say, uh, because it really is about Richard Diebenkorn's work and his achievements, as you look at those, these drawings and you take the time to look at them, I think that's a really increasingly important part of our culture to take the time to slow down, turn off the cell phone, uh, shut off the screen, and take some time to really commune and meditate with the work and you are able to, if you take the time, relive and re-experience many of the decisions that he made in the course of his life as an artist in the, in the, in the drawings that were being made. And especially after tonight, if you have a, good, a chance to look at it, if I ever stop. Uh, you, can, you can still see the show at the De Young as a compliment. They really complement each other as, as a corollary and as an insight into what he had to do to get to the point where he was able to then have the confidence to execute some of those extraordinary larger canvases that are in the De Young show. So uh, as I, I think I wrote in some of the notes that all of the DNA for those great works is right here in the room. His entire, pretty much his entire career is represented from 1949 to 1992. So uh, I feel it's a, it's a real blessing for the whole college community. Come back when it's lovely. Thank you all for being a part of this. I mean, it's, a, it's, it's an extraordinary, community that we have. Uh, I'm really proud to be a teacher here and to have been a student here and uh, I'm proud to know all, the, all those of you who I know and look forward to talking with you further. So thanks all for coming. I was getting my degree in painting at Stanford and he was artist in residence in 1964. So uh, during that time, he would, uh, when he had time to have a student come in and model, uh, he would do that. If, you know, he had a couple of hours, then you would, uh, he'd ask whoever he wanted to um, come in and model for him. He said I was eager to see how he worked and, uh, and seeing him just uh, go through pieces of paper and, and discard them, just put them out on the floor, finish one, start the next, and you know he'd do 20 or 25 in a couple of hours, and uh, and then he'd laid them all out. And he said, "Which one do you want? I really appreciate you <laughs> posing for me." And so there, you know, I naturally I thought it was fabulous and so fresh. And we just went to the De Young Museum to see that show, and this is sort of like a a backup to that, a confirmation of his beautiful line and his drawing and 
I don't know. I, I worship the man, so <laughs> you won't hear anything negative from me. Uh, oh, it knocked my socks off. I love it. We were at the De Young today for the third or fourth time, and then we came here for dessert. <laughs> and what a dessert. God, I can't believe they pulled it off. It was a fantastic well, show. It's a, there are some amazing pieces here that are similar to, but in some ways just complement what you see at the De Young. It's just phenomenal. It's just yeah. wonderful to see. Yeah, and you see the common themes and the colors are so beautiful yeah. and I just love his figurative work. He's... I love the show. I love the whole evening, but I especially love the work um, and I had a really good time. What do you think of the exhibit? It's great. The, the, the wonderful part of it is that they're drawings I've never seen before. So it's always wonderful to see, and particularly the early things, which talk about stuff he did much later. So you look at the drawings, you say, oh my God, he, he knew where he was going 25 years later. It's, it's a great show. Chester did a great job. It's wonderful, wonderful, yeah.